As the card returns, as the card returns, oh my God, as the card returns. I know they trying to knock me down, I ain't going out. As the card returns, it's drip like a fool. I know they trying to knock me down, I ain't going out. Ain't going out. As the card returns, you got to figure it out. Yeah. They see you getting it popping, they going to try and come around. Uh, I be down to go out last and keep a live round. Huh? In the blick, in the blick. get you hit. <laughs> Bitch, we going to get you fired. With your blood. Uh, Fuck watching for the ops to be the cops to get you hit. Uh, I just uh, ride up off the porch. Mama said, stay up out the mix. Uh, Niggas up when I was broke. They let me down on my dick. They let me down, down. Now I'm all gonna be around now. I fuck this bitch, I got a pound town. When I was broke, they used to lie to me. My dad thought it was a tragedy. His man thought it was sad to see. You uh, smoking ops like a bag of weed. And I bled. Get you hit. Bitch, we gon' get you first. All right, y'all. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Welcome to Ask the Coach Returns. My name is Jameer, and I'll be a moderator for today's episode. Um, now, before we get into anything, I just want to make sure that y'all subscribe to the YouTube channel, Ask the Coach Returns, and you follow the Instagram and like us on Facebook at Ask the Coach Returns. Now, before I get into who my contributors are for today's episode, let me just give y'all a quick monologue on what today's episode will be about. Then I introduce my contributors, and then we'll get right into it. All right, so today's topic will be about friends. Whether you got real friends, fake friends, we'll decipher all that. But by a show of hands, I want to ask you all, um, how many of us in here think we got real friends? Okay, all right, I like that. Now I disappeared. Satan just took her, but she'll be back. Um, did you know, now I'm going to read what I got here, then we'll get right into it. All right, so it says, did you know there is a science behind how we choose our friends? Research has shown that we tend to befriend people who are much like us in a wide array of characteristics, including age, race, religion, etc. During today's discussion, we will discover what a friend is. Do we use the term friend too loosely? And if you actually do have real friends, now we would discuss. Now, before I get into that, let me introduce my contributors. I right, so um welcome and back. We actually got Dawn, you know, Dawn been around the block a couple times. She coming back to um, chat with us. How you been, Dawn? I've been well. How are you? I've been good. I've been good. Thank you for coming back to join us for this conversation. Glad All to be right. back. Thank you so much. Um, returning from hell, we got Naya. <laughs> <laughs> from heaven. <laughs> from heaven. God just took her real quick. I had a little talk with her real quick. But um, what's up, Naya? How you been? I'm good, y'all. There we go. Yes, welcome back, Dawn. Exactly. Welcome Dawn back. There we go. Yep. And we got stepping in and filling in and even going to be with us for a little while as well. We got Jason. How you doing, Jason? I'm all right. Can't complain. Thank you all for having me. You're welcome. Thank you for joining and being a part of this conversation. So again, we are going to talk about friendships, real friends, and how we're going to decipher all of it. Um. So the first thing I want to ask, I'm going to start with you, um, Naya. Um, by giving one example, what is your idea of a real friend? Wow. Giving an example, but not giving a word. Um, I definitely feel like for a friend for me is, damn. Uh, for example, um, I guess I want to say kind of not, uh, more having more understandings because sometimes you're going to go through some things and 
you're going to fall away from your friends. But just because you fall away and you don't hear from me every day, um, that doesn't mean that we're not best friends or we're not friends because people really go through things. And if you are able to accept me back when I'm going through my depression, when I'm going through my own mental things, and I'm going through a rough patch in life, and then we can meet up and it's just the same as if I never left, and you loyal to me, I think that's everything. Because I feel like a lot of times people are not understanding of sometimes you need to break from your not just your friends but from the world and don't hold it against me and when i come back it's just as if we never left apart from each other so that's something that stands out for me and just having that loyalty heard that um i'm gonna pass the same question um to you dawn um and an example on what is your definition of a real friend my definition is simple of a real friend is someone who supports you and everything you do, you know, because we all need that support. Sometimes we don't have that support from our family members and we need that from our friends. So I think if a friend can show you that they support you through all your trials, then that's a real friend. All right, there we I go. Agree. I definitely mm -hmm. agree. There yep. we go. All right, and then um, <laughs> how about you, Jason? So uh, I think a friend is someone who both of you guys do things unconditionally for each other, you know, you don't. Mm -hmm. You don't count favors. You don't say tit for tat, you know, eye for an eye. Someone who he's going to do for you just because. And someone you're going to do for it just because. Uh, mm, I'm okay. glad that we said that because I feel the same way about both things. I wish I could have said a lot, but he only said one thing. But I agree with mm. you. I listen. Heard that. So I got a definition I'll put up on the screen and we'll see what we think about that. All right. So right here, it's a friend. Basically, y'all kind of touched on it. Um, someone who oh, knows yeah. your flaws and imperfections and still likes you. And then even taking it a step further with friend, um, like a best friend, because some of us have those. And um, so I ain't got my glasses on, so I got to pull up real quick. An irreplaceable person, someone who is by your side throughout all of life's dramas, no matter their own troubles. A person that accepts your weirdness and loves you anyway. Someone who laughs with you and cries with you. The best thing you can have and the best thing you can be. All right, so before we dig deeper into our conversation, I got some pictures that I asked y'all to send me of some people who you may consider friends, family, whatever. So I'm gonna start with you, Naya. As the pictures come up, you can explain um the scenario, the people, if you consider them your friends. And yes, family could be friends too. So let's get right into it. Okay. So who are all these people? Are these all your friends? Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, they actually are all my friends. Not everybody in there is best friends, but they like favorite cousins, close oh, friends. You know all of them? Best friends is definitely in there. Yep, for sure. Um, yeah, and it's crazy. Yeah, I think all my best friends except wait, it's actually in there. I think she in there high and well, pretty much all my best friends are in there. It's a few that's not there at, because they didn't attend my party, but definitely these. That's my squad for sure. Yeah, that's a big squad. All right. Um, who are these people? These people, they right here, these my they're like sisters to me. They're all in Baltimore. It's like two people missing from the picture, but these are my people from Baltimore. Definitely my best friend is up there with the peace sign. But everybody in there is like close friends to me and like family. Sisters, I should say. Whoa. Uh so who are these people right here? People you should mind your business and take your <laughs> picture there. <laughs> all right, they all blood cousins. They all blood cousins for sure. Uh all so when it comes to um your, your blood cousins, do you feel like you're friends with them by default or you actually like have like a great um friendship with them? I feel like I have a great friendship with all of them that's actually in this picture, but at the same time that we, we some of us on here, like you know, we bump our heads, but they still family at the end of the day. But I wanted to say I do have other best friends, they're not in there. Aaron Jackson, I gotta give you a shout out. Tay wasn't in there, so Aaron Jackson say on Ashley should be in that picture. She should. I think she was hot in the other picture, but she should be on there too. But everybody that's on here is definitely like my squad, for sure. Oh yeah. Uh, and we know you just graduated not too long ago, and normally something like that is celebrated by friends and um supporters. So um, at your graduation, did you feel um loved on that day? Yes, these are my firsters, firsters, friends and sisters together. So yes, that's they. They are my childhood friends. So yes, for sure, I definitely felt love, and they came through. I heard that. And who are these people? I, I, <laughs> that's definitely my friends too, especially the one in the middle. That's Michelle. She's like, she's like a best friend. She's like my sister. That's uh, and that's Yen, and that's also Michelle's sister to the left hand side. But yes, that's definitely my squad too. 
All right. And before I get to Dawn, can I ask you one question? Um, do you feel like you may use the word friend loosely, or are all the people who came up on the screen you genuinely concern a friend? Uh, you you generally gen genuinely consider a friend. Sorry. You talking about me, right? Yes, you. I feel like I used the word use that word so loosely because of the fact that I didn't know how to decipher. But everybody that you showed me on here is definitely my team. Like I really fuck with everybody on here. Literally everybody you showed me, I actually do. We might bump heads and may not get along all the time, but like. Yeah, and except for like uh, my other friends are not there, Ashley, Tay, and um, and Jackson. But yeah, that's the squad. I think that's I think that's what makes them uh, a real friend. The fact that you guys can bump heads and still bounce back from that. You know? Yep, that's true. That's Absolutely not a friend. You never bump heads with a friend. What? Yes, you do. You don't think so? I bump heads with my friends, my brothers, every day. That's not. I, I that's not your friend. If they're not blood, and you bumping heads with a friend. That's not your friend. That's God Ooh, telling you. This is lot. not it. But I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. What are you going to see? We're going to dig. It's we're going to dig. It's, it's very interesting. We're going to dig into it. We got to go to Dawn next because Dawn only sent me one picture. So, you know, right here. Um, Who is this, Dawn? And, you know, explain it to us. That's my cousin, sister, friend. Oh, cousin, all sister, friend. She's all three. Absolutely. Um, We've been together. Since I was like what 12, mm -hmm. 11, and she is so selfless. I, I can't even, she's like an angel on earth. That's how I look at her. She's so kind, she's so sweet, she never changes. You know, she's always been there for me. I'll be there for her, you know, vice versa. She gets me, like, I don't have to deeply explain what I'm talking about. You know, how you got to go into detail, you know, when you're talking to somebody because they don't understand it. I can just say a few words and she just gets it. Like, you know, that's that's my baby. That's my ace. All righty. So you said that's your cousin's sister friend. So assuming yes. that she's your cousin, but she's yes. close like a sister, but yes. she's your friend as well. So do you yes. feel as though that um you are um y'all get along by default because y'all are cousins? No, it's just we we click, you know. I don't go by zodiac signs, but we are the same zodiac and we have the same interests and similarities and you know it's just like we click automatically it's no trying it's no you're weird you know you're getting on my nerves it's just love genuine love and i never fell out with her ever wow there you go. all right that's good cool. That's I wait to touch on based on what Dawn said because that's the agreement. Oh, uh, we're gonna we are going to we are going to touch on it. We're definitely gonna touch on it. Yeah, we're gonna let Jason, we're gonna get through Jason, then Miles, and then we definitely gonna dig deeper into that. So we're going into yours, Jason. You could just explain who these people are and you know, take us down the timeline. So who are these people? So uh the, the guy on the right, that's my best friend right there. That's my brother. And the girl on the left, I don't know who she is. It was uh, some girl that I met that night. <laughs> I met her that night, and she just wanted a picture with us, so we took the picture. Okay. But yeah. Uh, explain this right. picture. You know what? Now that I'm looking at this picture, somebody photobombed us. I didn't even realize that. But these are my, my brothers and my best friends right here, all of them. My brothers and my best friends. Like, majority of them are blood brothers, though. Heard that. So you're basically related to almost everybody in this picture, correct? Yep. And Alrighty. So the same question I asked Dawn, and I know we got a few more, um, Jason. Um, so the same question that I asked Dawn and Anaya, do you feel like you're um, close to a lot of these people by default because they are your brothers and cousins, or do you feel like there's a genuine friendship there? Nah, it's a, it's a genuine friendship. I definitely don't think that just because someone's related to you that you have to be friends with them or you have to like them. And I stand on that. So the people that I hang with, I hang with because I want to, not because I have to. Heard that. Uh, there we go. So we got them right here. It's the, here. Same, the same group of guys. Never switched up. Been there since day one. Yep, and we got them right here, which is your brothers as well. Then Once I got again. a picture that I even make a cameo in. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I was, I was looking for some of these pictures. I couldn't find any of them. All righty. So now, question, uh, Jason, this is my hot seat question for you. Um, do you consider me a friend? I know we family, you know, and, you know, this is definitely a question I want to ask only because um, we had this on our unaired episode that you that people may hear or see or whatever. Um, you know how I discussed how I came into 
your life. Like we we found each other yeah, around like eighteen that. years old. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So we were kind of introduced to our mutual friend, your cousin, but my friend and everything. Um, Ed and everything. So um, given that I hung with y'all then and not quite quite right now, do you consider me a friend? You'd be very honest. I no, I honestly would. Uh. I honestly would, man. We, I was going to say because, you know, just because we don't talk every day or, you know, even every month, you know, none of that even matters. You know, I feel like some some friendships kind of transcend, you know, time and, and space. So, you know, you you one of those people who no matter what, you know, we always going to be cool. Like Third you day. said, we didn't even know we were cousins at first, you know, exactly. like we were just met through mutual friends. So heard that uh and i agree with you i do think the same thing and then i'm gonna get into mine because i know um because during your area so maybe you know some of this or whatever but i know me personally i'm that person aries who, on here? you said what everybody's an aries on you not 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 jason oh. but i know me and dawn is an aries and um, me, remember and who i'm an aries Oh, you was the Aries. Yep, you was the Aries. Nah, yeah, I forgot. you went up April Aries. Well, y'all both April Aries, you know. Okay. But uh, but that but that besides the point and everything, I'm one of those people <laughs> who tend to fall out a lot of time with their friends, you know. So not to say that we fell out, because we never fell out, um, Jason, you know. Right. But yeah. I am that person that kind of hop around and may see you may see me with a new friend group every time you see me. Um, so I don't want to say I'm fickle, I'm fake, but I kind of just <laughs> go with the flow with certain things. So. To kind of even explain um where i've been at with certain things with friends these are a group of people kind of when i um i would say kind of run the top i stopped hanging around you all jason um i kind of started hanging with these people right here which were some people that i met um with a company called market america and they were teaching me how to do business and stuff like that so for me i wanted to um link up with people who kind of in my head i would say um saw the world big as i saw it you know i wanted something new um, I felt like people around me, this not um um yep, my friend group with y'all, Jason. This other people I was hanging with. I know what you um, mean. You yeah, I felt like it was people who um was satisfied with the bare minimum and I wanted more and out I, of life. I know what you, you know? mean. So I went out of my way to kind of go out and explore and meet new people and um, you know, do different things. So these are people that I literally met one day. Um, we had lunch one day, and then we literally just went out and um went to Ocean City, Maryland. Like I met them that night. And then maybe like a week later, we had wound up going to Ocean City, Maryland, because for me, um, again, I just wanted to expand my horizons. I just wanted to grow from the people that I was around because I do feel like I was loyal by default to certain people. Um, and then this right here had led me um, the business side of, of meeting these people who are the people who helped me start as the coach of turns in the first place. Um, now, Jason, mm, sorry, Jason, uh, John and Chanel. Um, again, I was with the business people because they was basically, you know, helping me understand um, certain things business-wise, get business-minded, don't take certain things personal. And then when I got to the point where I wanted to start a podcast, um, I did want to start it with friends, but I don't think friends actually saw, you know, or wanted to do it. So I lined myself up or I reconnected with old friends and they helped me, um, you know, follow, I would say a portion of my dreams. And, you know, they kind of are some of the reason why we're even doing what we're doing today because um, I would explain this dream to some friends and they wouldn't quite understand it. You know, but them two people, they were willing to help me bring what I had in my head to life. Whereas, you know, we, you know, did interviews and everything. And I just got pictures of people we interviewed, um, such as Crystal, um, such as um, Judge Dawn Van, which was the first black um, judge in Delaware yeah, County. You feel me? Even um, uh, B. Jawan, who is the haircut for homeless guys. And even our boy Shali, who um, owns G Styles. And I bring all that up because um, John and Chanel are my real friends. Those people I was with, I wouldn't necessarily say they were friends, but they were a, 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 a viable, mm, what's the word I'm looking for? They were very necessary during that point in my life when I fell out with everybody and I just needed a refresh and a, re, a, a restart. So those people um, I linked up with in business settings. Even though me, John and Chanel were personally friends, we linked up because of business, you know, because they wanted to help me get to a level that I wanted to help get myself to, you know? So um yeah, along for, for my pictures, I would say um those people we kind of um did things to help grind and get each other to the next level, you know. So are they your friends? Um yes, John and Chanel are my friends for sure. Yeah, okay. we had the business aspect of it, but they're my friends, and they were friends that was willing to help me um follow this dream and pursue this. 
But then I did take it personal at one point when they decided to let me figure it out on my own because we did agree that you know they would help me in the beginning, but it was something that I had to figure out on my own. So they were they yeah they oh, are they they my friends? Yes, they are my friends. They are my friends, but we were doing business together, and I got the two mixed up. So because, because they didn't want to do this ain't gonna anymore, leave you hanging like that. I, I don't well, necessarily. Friend ain't gonna make you figure it out on your own if they know uh, if they look, know the game. I'm, I'm gonna say this. Um, John <laughs> is a whole husband, got kids, and he got his own business. And the same thing with Chanel. I do think that them them leaving my side, they helped me um get connected with Hollywood a lot. So they helped me figure out my own potential because I depended too much on having people do it with me as opposed so to figuring them out leaving myself. you hanging helped you. Dumb, dumb, yeah, yeah. I don't even want to say leaving me hanging, but don't let me fly oh, solo. Don't let me fly solo. Help me. They you out on the clothes I was depending on them. Not yeah, really. Did. Not really. They they they, 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 did. they did it out of love, honestly, because oh, this wasn't this wasn't what your they mom wanted to do. Your do that out of love. Your dad do that out of love, but your friends, uh-uh. But but listen, your here. friends gonna help this. You. This is not what they wanted to do with their life. So to me, I'm not being a real friend if I don't allow them to go follow their own passions and, and do what they want to yeah. do because they were willing to help me do this and even help me fund it. So to me, I feel like um that was where I got it blur. Like they helped me business wise, but they were my friends enough to tell me, all right, you know what? We did this and now it's time for you to figure it out on your own because I know you're great. I was someone that didn't think I was great on my own. So they helped me find that within myself, you know. So I get what you're saying, but when it comes to them two specifically, I definitely do know that it was um more out of love, I would say, as opposed to like leaving me hanging dry, just more so to help me figure out who I was and self-love and all that, you know. But we're gonna get into it though, though, because well, you may not know, but I know um with them, that's definitely um if I got with them. Where does Naya keep on disappearing? All right, Naya, you right there, Naya? I'm here. All right, so we're gonna get into the discussion with friends and everything. All right, while we on it, Naya, I'm gonna leave you down there, Naya. Um, I ain't got time to move you on the screen. All right, so now let me go back to what we was talking about and everything. Cause we, I'm happy we got Dawn back. Listen, this is what I expect from you, Dawn. Don't sugarcoat nothing. All right, thank you. Right. All right, so Dawn is so funny to me, man. No, exactly. I love it. That's what we need and everything. You feel me? So we're gonna get right into it. All right, so the um next thing I want to ask you all, and I'm gonna start with you, Dawn. Um, are you a real friend? If yes, explain why. I'm a real friend because I keep it real with you. You feel me? Like, I have flaws. Yes, I do. But I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm going to support you. I'm going to give you every encouragement I got in my body to give you. Everybody else on hot stones and telling you you can't do this or you shouldn't do that. I'm going to tell you why you should. I'm going to tell you which way you should go. I'm going to give you my honest opinion. I don't care how down and depressed you feel about yourself. I'm going to give you those good notes. This is This is all the good things I feel about you how you should feel about yourself. That's why I think I'm a good friend. I am very supportive, regardless of what is going on around you. Heard that already. Um, so I'm gonna go to you, Naya. Um, are you a real friend? If yes, explain why. I'm a great friend. Like, a, a, a lot of people will vouch for that. I feel like, like she said, I definitely do have flaws. I'm very passionate. I'm very passionate and I always go hard for my friends and anybody that's around me, I treat you how I want you to treat me. So I'm going to be there. Even when I don't want to be there, I'm there. You understand? Like, whatever you need from me, I'm going to do it. If I can do it. If I can't do it, then I won't. I literally have given people things that I knew I needed. I, I'm not going to say a lot of things I, I mean, things I actually did and the people. But there are people who came in, uh, came in my life and are not no longer in my life that I literally have gave people shelter, financial stuff. And even that was, all right, was my mom money growing up but i made sure i looked out for people i really do and i would do anything for my friends literally anything except to go to jail if we don't got to but i'm i'm definitely there like I, i'm down for my friends i'm loyal um i try my best to be encouraging uh i put up a lot and i have a lot of patience that i give a lot of people chances i shouldn't but at the same time i'm definitely there for my friends like as much as i can i try okay. yep all right um same question over to you jason are you a real friend if so explain why i think i'm a real friend uh and i think mainly because uh yeah i don't know I and mean, i'm just i just know i'm a real friend i mean i don't have a lot of friends so friend give me one reason you can give me one reason why you're a real friend i think one of the 
one of the reasons why I am a real friend is because I really will go above and beyond Me too. The people that I care about. You know, if I got it, like nice. Give an example of when you went above and beyond for your friend. Because mm-hmm. I don't believe you. You don't believe mm-hmm. All right. So one of my friends, my brother, I literally would drop him off to work every day and pick him up, even though this was at least like a half an hour out of my way. Never mm-hmm. asked for gas money. Never ask for nothing in return even if you know i was on in bed you know he called me like hey i need to ride home from work i'm there even though i didn't feel like it i feel like that's going above and beyond especially me because if i'm asleep ain't gonna get me up so right 30 minutes away that's back there and back right Mm, there we go We'll, we'll, uh, we'll dig deeper into that. And then, because of course, nobody's not going to say they're not a real friend, you know? So that's why I definitely want examples. But for me, I could definitely say I'm a real friend, but to a certain extent, you know? Because the friendship, it got to be. You think. Listen, you and, and, to a certain extent. I'm going to let you know. I'm going to let you know why. Because I feel like um, I'm a real friend if you're a real friend to me. There's times mm-hmm. where I've been real friends to people and they weren't necessarily real friends to me, but. I used the excuse of things like, well, we know each other since we was kids. You know, I allowed them to not be a real friend to me, but I was a real friend to them. So how I look at, at it now, I'm a real friend as long as you are a real friend to me. If I can give an example, I was definitely someone who will always, again, look out for people, whether it was financially, um, whether it was, you know, um, emotionally. Because a lot of time, us as guys, when we are, you know, friends with each other, a lot of people don't know how to emotionally be there for the other person. You know, so I was always emotionally there for people financially. And I always like you don't told people the what I told people what they needed to hear, whether they wanted to hear it or not, which by the blurred lines or if I was a real friend or not, because a lot of people I was around was used to the passive me. So when I used to be passive, that's when I used to let people walk all over me. And I thought that I was being a real friend by allowing them to walk over me. But then as soon as I got um um assertive with how I was, then that's when people started to fall away from me and they started telling me that I changed. And for me, I didn't like the way that I was existing in their friendships because it felt like I was their friend because um, they was able to get over on me. So once I became assertive and I started to, you know, like, you know, d- defend myself and stand up for myself and speak up, that's when for some people the, the lines got blurred and people started to tell me that I wasn't a real friend. So for me, I feel like I was a real friend once I um, figured out and learned how to speak up for myself, you know? So, you know, again, Go ahead. Say, oh, no. Go ahead. Go. I was just gonna say, like, I feel I kind of agree with you. I do feel like I'm a really good friend, and a lot of people will vouch and say that. But at the same time, I feel like I kind of did what you did too. I like, I let a lot of people get more chances than they deserve. I also um, let people get over on me a lot too. I honestly do feel like that. Like, and I feel like kind of that too to still this day. Like, I feel like I kind of do as well, but more when I was younger. But now, but I was always aggressive. I wasn't afraid to speak my mind. But I think I let a lot of people get away with a lot of shit, like you saying. Like, I really did. Even to this day, I like I let a lot of people play with me. But it's because of a lot of different things. I think more spiritual about things than I think about people mental. Like, yeah, you must be fucking crazy because X, Y, and Z. Or maybe they bat on with something spiritually. And that's why I kind of let some shit slide. And that's a bad thing and that's a good thing. I feel like sometimes you can enable your friends to yeah. um do bad things. It's almost like, um I, I would say... Hey. Uh, yeah, like a relationship. And um, my thing is, if you keep on breaking up with this person, but you go on telling your friends about this, and then they tell you the truth the first time, you know, but then you keep going back to them and they get to the point where they don't want to hear that shit no more, that don't make them not a real friend. That 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 makes them real by letting you know that they don't want to hear it. They don't want to uh-huh. keep going through it no more. You, that, my friend, you going to hear this story. Listen, I told you not, times, not, not going if to keep it's... hearing what I got to say. Because listen. let me tell you, let me tell yeah. you, it takes a while for somebody to get up out the quicksand. You understand? No, so I understand that. As my friend, as my friend I, I need, listen, I'm trying to tell you different ways how I'm trying to get out this quicksand. I need you to uh-huh. listen. I know I told you before, but I need you to listen. Oh, because listen. That's, that's my shoulder. That's how I vent. That's I, how I get out of this depression because you're my friend and you're going to listen and you're going to be there. Now, listen, I definitely do. I definitely do agree with that. But I feel like there are times where you do a lot of listening, but there's times we got to give advice too. And you have to help people get out of that tough love. Did we talk about that before? Tough love, you know? So sometimes so after that advice, right? And you heard the same story as a friend, you just sit there and you fucking listen. But but how do that's you know all, excuse but me, how, but how you do you know do listen. listen, but how do you know if I'm um mentally 
able to even deal with your problems in that moment. And I got my own you problems. You ain't dealing with my problems, baby. You being my friend. Right. Me, just, me listening. Listen me. No, show. yeah, exactly. I could listen. But also, if I'm to the point where I don't want to hear the same thing over and over again, it's almost like learning then, the same lesson. You're a hypocrite. No Let different results. I think it depends. Why, why no, am I a hypocrite? No, no. Because I'm sure you probably got problems with somebody in your family that you've been having the same problems for years about that you continuously talk to your friend about the same problem that you've been having with the family. No, guess all what? All your life. I, so I, your friend ain't and your friend ain't sitting there like, oh my god, you always talk about your dad. Oh my god, you always talk about your mom. They're sitting there listening to you because you're venting. That's how you get out of that depression. That's how you get out of that sadness because exactly. you got somebody to hear your bullshit over and over and over. Again. No, 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 no. Now let, let me let me correct you on that because. When I got to the point where I felt like I got tired of people, um, people was tired of hearing my shit. That's when I got into meditation. I had to listen to myself. I had to learn how to tune that noise out, and I had to know how to find peace within myself. So I did have friends who were there to listen to me vent. But my thing is, if I'm going to keep venting to you, but I'm not doing anything to change the outcome, then at this mm, point, it's repetitive, you, you know. So for me, I, I I've had those people who was there for me, for me, but I also had those people who was real and told me, listen. I don't want to keep hearing this. And as much as I didn't want to hear that in that moment, maybe I needed to hear it because I had to learn how to deal with things internally and how to get to my own peace because everybody not always going to be emotionally available for you because they got their own shit going on. I feel like it's inconsiderate of the person if you keep coming with the same shit but you don't got no solutions but for you're yourself. Not doing anything at exactly. All to, right? If it's repetitive, now, now I'm not saying don't vent at all. Like a friend should definitely listen to you. You should be able to vent. You should be able to, you know, express yourself. But at what point are you going to get up and figure it, figure it out after you did all that venting? And stuff? One day. Tom, though, I, I agree with Dawn, but I also understand. What I agree with both. Of you. But it's like, I agree with both of y'all. But sometimes it takes a long time for some people to get some shit, though. Go to therapy. Go to therapy after that. Okay. Your thinking. friends, your you friends. Listen, no, but but so so you trust a friend that's going to give you a biased opinion. A therapist is there to give you an unbiased opinion. So sometimes your friends what will you be the reason. You so, sometimes sometimes your friends will justify the shit that you're going through, and sometimes you yeah. may need to hear from a stranger that's not yeah. going to have no relationship that's, to you because you got some people who enable their friends and don't. don't it seems like Dawn is going to tell her friends exactly what it is. Like, she just told you. No, like, no. Like, I feel like a lot of my friendships, they fall off or cousins don't be fucking with me sometimes. Friends don't fuck with me sometimes because I'm too honest. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, mm. I keep it real. I baby a person. I give a people I give people a billion chances. But I'm so fucking real. And, like, I have cousins say, I wish you just would have listened and not said anything. I didn't I didn't ask you to give, give your opinion. It's like, oh, my bad. I'm sorry. That's and guess what? It brings them down more. It, and, and, and I definitely get that. That's why I say because it they gets already to a know point. the truth. They already know what you're going to say. They already know their reality. But at the same time, it's just like quicksand. Like I said, it's hard to get up out of quicksand. So no, listen to me, then. Listen to me. Listen. Have this drink. Smoke this weed. Smoke this hookah. Whatever we doing, we chilling or whatever the case is. And then we can get back to our regular schedule program. That venting ain't gonna last the whole time y'all hanging out or talking on the phone. Y'all gonna switch topics. But so, at the same time, as my friend, you gonna sit there and listen. No, no, let's sit here. Uh, go, Jason. Too. Yeah, go, Jason. I, I think it depends on the situation too. Like, I feel like there are some things where you can be repetitive and, and keep, you know, venting to that friend. But it's certain things. It's like, all right. You, you've been saying this for a year or two now, and you still haven't took any steps towards fixing anything. So I kind of get both sides. You yeah, because at this point, I'm enabling you. If I keep on saying, it's, it's people who, their, their friend would tell one side of the story, but they won't tell the whole story. They like, you right, sis. You right, bro. No, sometimes people need to be told, listen here. Um, what else happened? Matter of, fact, matter of fact, let me get the other person's side of the story as well, just so I can have a thorough opinion on it. Because again, I feel like people are biased and people will enable some of their friends' behaviors. So I'm definitely that friend. I'm going to listen. Oh, I'm going to so hear you vent. I'm, I'm going to definitely vent as well. But also, I'm someone that noticed that people people was telling me in my younger 20s that be, uh, whether it's my mom issues or my dad issues, that damn, you still complaining about that? And when I heard that, that's when I got into meditation because I felt like I was annoying people. And I became that person where I would call them and they would just um, ignore my phone call because they're like, here he go with that negativity again. You know, so I definitely understand, you know, the part of letting them vent. But you're not about to come up and mess up my good old day. If I, you know, just um got a promotion at a job and then I'm trying to call you, talk to you about it, you're like, oh, that's good. But let me tell you what happened. I don't want to hear that right now. Like, you feel me? Some people that only want you just for your listening ear, but they're not really 
worry about what you got going on. So I feel like it's a fine line between that. You got to really, um, you got to understand that some people's bags is heavier than yours, baby. You might be true. putting somebody's life in place to help them build, you know, and that's to true. help them be better. You know what and I mean? I'm, so for you mm -hmm. to sit there and shit on somebody's life because you having a good day, that doesn't not make shit. you a good person or a good friend. It's not yeah, really sitting it's just like, on oh, that you, life. You, it's, call, you calling it, me to tell me how bad your life going. I'm having a good motherfucker. Yeah. yeah, who says that yeah. I want to be nah, bothered I feel like with? If you, if you wait, the person, wait, wait, wait. can I say this real quick? And then as you go, Jason, hold that thought. Yeah. My thing is, if I'm having a day where it's like, listen, good things is happening for me, and you call me and you want to talk about what you got going on, but you don't even acknowledge the good news news I just told you, then no, you are dampening my day. I'm not necessarily saying it, it's because of your problem, but it's because you didn't acknowledge the good things that I told you. So it's not really like, you know, me shitting on you, but it's me choosing, listen, not today. I don't want to hear that. You got to have a rotation so of friends. If I'm in the middle of crying and I'm calling you, like, oh my God, da, 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 and you're like, I just got a promotion, but you need to be smiling for me because I'm happy and you sad, but, but I'm sad for me. But that's, that's a different a, scenario. Yeah, that's, that's a different, different scenario. Go Jason yeah, real someone, quick and then I'll let it go. I was going to say, that's a, little, that's a little different than someone that is always contacting you about that same problem. Like if there's someone calling you crying, about a new problem that's different but if it's, it's the someone same problem that's... though because it's, 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 it's keeping them in the quicksand but uh, at, uh, at, it's, it depends on the scenario that's 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 it that, that it does uh depend on the scenario what you about to say naya um i was just gonna say like i guess it depends on a friend time, like okay i'm gonna be happy for you and sometimes I used to go through some shit where I know I got the fuck on my friend's nerves. I kept repeating the same thing about the same nigga, the same situation. And that's probably, it was draining them. But they said it like, oh, you getting the fuck on my nerves. But they were still listening to me. And I'm like, oh my God, I can't wait to leave this nigga. But they still will listen to me at the end of the day. You, you get what I'm saying? Nah, can I? I'm sorry. But when, they had their, when they had situations where they um they had a promotion or if they got a new job or they started a business or X, Y, and Z, I would still be like, yeah, that's what's up, X, Y, and Z. But we'll still get back to like, I want you to get out of this situation. I want you to get pulled out of the situation. So my friends will be like, you know, all right, I understand where you're coming from. I get it. And I, X, Y, and Z. But at the same time, like, you know, I got this going on. Be happy for me. But at the same time, I want to help you get out of this uh this shit too. Like you said, pulling people out the quicksand. Uh, so now, I, can I ask you this real quick? I'll give you a scenario. You, you just graduated. On okay. your graduation, somebody yeah. come to you with their issues their problems this is the day you graduating and all that are you emotionally available for somebody i who doubt may be a going friend is going to come to you on your graduation and talk about listen their that's listen. not a friend but some may friends? do some okay. some may do so yeah so uh, on your graduation if somebody who you know is going through you know with issues or whatever and they come to you with their issues um how do you think you're going to handle it that day I know for sure, like, I always put people before myself. And I told y'all that before. I think I told y'all. Remember we did a little baby thing? Mm -hmm. When we put our pictures up? I always put people before me. And I hate it, but that's just how I am. So I doubt my friends will come to me during that time. But I know that if my friends did come to me on during that time, it must be really a fucked up situation where they really need me. And now I got to put myself aside and be there for them. You get what I'm saying? And no, I, you don't. I, don't do that. Include them in your festivities. Come out, friend. Yeah, you take them mind away Come from out, you. I like that. That's true, but I like that. Again, again, at the same time, I still will be there for them. Like, I wouldn't be like, oh, this is my fucking day. Y'all just yeah. fucking up my No, day. it is your day. That's why you include them day. into your day. Like, you know what? Shut up, bitch. Come out, friend. We about to go turn up. We about to go party. That's cool, I think that's a uh, common ground day. right there. Friend was about to commit suicide this day. Yeah, so what you gotta do? I'm gonna tell you. So what if what if your friend about to commit suicide and it's really your day? I'm gonna put me aside. I don't give a fuck. I already graduated twice. Shit. Like at the end of the day, if they really need me and they I mean see now that that part is true, but what you said was that you gotta put your shit aside. To handle them and what Dawn said was you don't, you don't gotta put your shit aside. You, you can include them in your festivities because at the end of the day, you are not a licensed therapist. You know, a lot of people use friends for different no no, I, I get that, but a lot of people use friends for different reasons. So when I say you're not a licensed therapist, it is not your job to get someone out of depression. You can choose to do that as a friend if you want to, but it's not your job. So you don't have to feel like you gotta it's put people above as yourself. Friend, as a friend, you have a lot of duties as a friend. You do the as, as, as a friend, it's my responsibility. If you really going through some shit and you came to me during my graduation, cause it's that fucked up, 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna put me aside and wherever my friend. That's just me. Some people feel like, oh, this is my fucking day, and some people, and, and, and they feel that way. Then there's some people that selfish, like, fuck out of here. We're gonna uh, visit, revisit that tomorrow. I'm not like that. If it's mm-hmm. if really that hurt, I'm here for you, friend. What's wrong? And I fucking wanna probably cry with you today on my graduation. That's, that's cool. Me. That's what I meant by uh, unconditional. Like, fuck you. Roll up that blunt. Hey. It's my fucking day. <laughs> Jameer's a heartless. Bye. I no, mean- uh, it's, it's a couple of things. So I, I want to go to what Dawn said real quick. Cause you said, man, uh, remember made he, called this, he called us jockeys. He don't care. Ooh. He don't got no ass. Ooh. Okay. Oh, See, that was right there. <laughs> that was, Jameer does no, not care. Okay? No, this, 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 this is where I come at now. But I said at that, and then that was a, a, a discussion about the podcast, or whatever. And I and, and it's almost the same term as um it's too many Indians uh too many Indians but but not enough was it horses chiefs. what is it chiefs, chiefs yeah it's too many Indians but not enough, not not enough chiefs and everything you know they took my words very literal and I was really trying <laughs> to make a scenario you know but I want to go to what you said Dawn because you you made a very um important point I want us all to touch on it you said as a friend you have certain duties so you list to me what you do you think as a friend um what are my duties or what is someone duties you feel like as your friend that they should or need to do just be there when i need you to be there all the time even when i'm sleeping but you know and i understand this people have lives and you got things that's going on and sometimes you won't be able to be there when i need you to be there but at the same time be sincere be genuine you know what i mean don't just push me off because you don't feel like it or you tired of hearing it you know what i mean just be genuine with it like when you come with malice or some type of like frustration, like you tired of me, that don't feel like a friend to me. You understand? Like I call you one day and you don't answer and you don't call me back in two days. I understand you got your own life. You got a lot of things going on, but at the same time, call me back with some generosity and be genuine and talk to me and listen to me. That's it. That's all I be asking from people. Well, from my friends. So you, you know? need them to, so your thing is like, you need them to be there for you when you, uh, when you need them. That's well, no, I recant that. I recant that, but be be genuine when you are there for me, because I understand that everybody can't be there when you need them to be there. I understand that, and and as a friend, you have to understand that too. Reciprocating, like, okay, I can't be there all the time. I got I got kids, or I got other obligations. You know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna mm-hmm. get to you, but when I get to you, you know, you got my full attention. I have something to say. All right, so let me ask you this real quick. I'm gonna go over to you, Naya. So when you got your issues or anything you're going through, do you feel like you could reciprocate that same energy to your friends? And do you feel like you got a rotation of friends that you share your issues with just so you don't feel like you're always talking to that one friend? Or do you just choose one specific person to go um, to vent to about certain issues? Oh, that was for you, Dawn. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Maybe repeat it real quick. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm no, you're fine. Because I'm like going through my. Own. You making me go back now, memory lane. <laughs> get a little mad. Get a little, get a little triggered. My bad. All right. So my question was um more so of like, do you reciprocate that same energy to your friends? Like, if they need you, do you feel as though that you're emotionally available for them as well, even though you're going through your own stuff? And then, do you have a rotation of friends that you vent to, um, just so you don't feel like you're always going to that one person, or do you choose yes. to just stay to one person? So uh, to answer your first question, I can't be honest with that question because I don't know how they feel. I don't know if they feel like I'm always there for them when they need me. You know, I may feel like I am, but they may feel like I'm not. I just went through a situation where I guess, well, not I guess, I wasn't there for a friend, you know, when she reached out. I wasn't, you know, being ignorant, ignoring my friend. But, you know, I was going through a a moment where I wanted to just kind of like not talk about anything personal or not say anything personal, like what I was playing on social media. So, you know, that led a part to me not being friends with someone anymore because they felt like I wasn't there for them. I, you know, neglected them in a way. I can't wait to talk now. Do you feel like you neglected them? No, I don't because that's just, how I am and as a friend you know that like I'm not gonna immediately text you back or I'm not immediately gonna call you back you know because I got other things going on you know I have a whole life going on and my friends who are my friends know that mm-hmm. there we go you know? all right it's my but time. what was the last question and then the last question was and I'm going over to you now it was um do you rotate 
the people that you vent to because as you stated you know people got lives people who might work 16 hour jobs got right. kids and they may not always be mentally or emotionally ready to hear your issues so do you rotate your um issues to different friends or do you just go to one person all the time i i do rotate um and one person not answering i'm calling the next you know because i need to get it off my chest you know and different people in my life have different perspectives and different opinions so you know i want to hear different things to kind of like make a decision of my own you know once hearing everybody else's opinion but i do rotate you know my okay. people all right there we go all right so we're gonna go down to you naya um i want you to expound on the same um thing um so you got the floor i, I wanna i do before we expound on everything i want to just uh, piggyback on some of the things that she said and this that was my issue too i feel like the last two years i haven't been a good friend to my friends like the last two or three years and i know why like spiritually emotionally i just couldn't be that good friend i was still a loyal person like i won't do you wrong but i was out of touch like mentally i was out of touch so it's like you have to understand me that's why i started off when you said what is the point and dawn is expressing that when i go through some things and you don't hear from me as much you don't see me as much if i'm not showing up i need you to still come back the same way as if i was always there because people really go through things you understand what i'm saying so I do feel like I, the last couple of years, I don't feel like I was a good friend. I always say to my friends, like, I'm sorry. Like, especially my friend from Baltimore, Shamar, but like, I'm not going to call, she's one of my faves. Like, I, I don't care who she is. She's one of my faves. I have other faves too, but she's one of my faves. And I felt like, damn, like when I moved from Baltimore, I wasn't there for you the way I should because I was going through so much and out of relationships and shit struggling with some things and i felt like i could have been there more but she like, it's okay that's fine i understand like i still love you i don't look at you no different and that should be breaking me down because there are friends that i had it's like oh no you acting fake or you acting no bitch i'm depressed you understand i'm depressed i'm going through things and i be smiling a lot of times people say i see you on social media you look like you okay it's just the media in real life i'm stressed i'm depressed sometimes i'm fucking suicidal friends sometimes i'm angry sometimes i'm upset sometimes i'm emotional sometimes i'm depressed like i do a good job at smiling and pretending but sometimes i be going through some shit. you understand she Dawn was going through some stuff i didn't mean to not be a good friend of you but i had me too like sometimes like <laughs> that's essentially what i was she saying no and she's like yes jesus that's what i'm saying yeah. she over here agreeing with me but i'm saying like you go people go through things and sometimes people are insensitive because they want that response right away they want that attention right away i'm one of those friends too like i get jealous of my friends have friends sometimes but you're gonna get into that yeah okay but at the same time i go through things i'm human and i think that i always gave off that i'm like a superwoman or i'm like cat girl or some fucking some type of superhero that's a female that cat woman yeah superwoman <laughs> whatever them bitches is it's like no okay no more cussing okay you but fine. i don't want to cuss no more but anyway i think that i gave mm -hmm. off that i can handle so much but i can't because i'll do it in front of you but when that fuck when we are when the doors are closed i be breaking down too friends like i go through stuff just like yo i'm always there i show up i come for every occasion but deep down inside like i need a break I do. So that's why I understand where Dawn's coming from. And nobody's my therapist. And then you ask another question. Do you been to other friends? Yes. I have different friends for different occasions. I got my going out friends. I got my friends I can vent to. I got my spiritual friends. I got the friends I come to about relationships. I got the friends I come to about financial things, business things. Because you got friends for different things. That don't mean they're not your friends. But everybody can't handle everything. You understand? That's, and that's essentially what I was saying in the beginning. But I'm a, but, I'm a but, hold on. Hold on. That's what I was saying in the beginning when I was saying that sometimes I don't got the emotionally um 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 meant to to, to deal with that and yeah. it was it was portrayed as if I was being a shitty friend. No, I I'm not I cannot help everybody, especially if, if I'm not helping myself in that I, moment. I, I want to save the world. Yeah, exactly. And sometimes that's a problem because you got to save that, yourself before you can save other people. So I'm early this all the time, like. I used to like my sleepovers used to be jam packed. My birthdays would be jam packed, and 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 my friends. I'm like, mom, this person got kicked out the house. Can they come stay? Mom, this person needs my mom. Like Naya, you can't save the world, and I would not talk to her because she would say that to me. Like you, are, I felt like you are a hater. Like you're hating on me because of the fact that I want to save everybody. Because in my mind, still, if I could change a life a day, I really would. You understand? So I felt like I wanted to change everybody and make everybody life. If that mean I can't have for a month. That mean like Christmases and birthdays and sh 
I no, okay. Naya. Okay with Naya, this that's, that's, that's going. Hold on. Uh, no, I, I hear everything you're saying. Me personally, it take me back what we were saying earlier. When when I was talking about I'm not emotionally available for everybody. I know you and Dawn kind of felt as though that I was um being a shitty friend. When no, in you reality, in, in, in reality, I'm not always mentally, emotionally available if I'm going through my own shit. So no. I played Superman before. I don't want to be Superman no more because Superman is a fucking character. You know, I got to really be authentic, man, and let you know when I can and when I cannot help you. And if I'm having a high and I'm having a good old day, I'm sorry, friend. Today, I don't want to hear that. Go hit up the other friend because today I'm not emotionally available for that. You know? Okay. That's why you don't have no friends, Jameer. Oh, this is no, no, oh, damn. That's why I got no friends. Well, so y'all both just said the same thing because Don, you just said that you didn't uh, a friend reached out to you and you wasn't there for them and you was going through your own shit, right? Mm -hmm. So that's essentially the same thing that I'm saying. I be going through no, my own shit. I never came at this friend with any type of malice, like. I so that's malice being today. being honest because it I'm going is. through my own shit. But because I'm going through my own shit, I just had a 16 hour work day. That's you me don't being have malice. to say anything. You have to understand words can hurt. The way somebody talks to you can hurt. The way somebody reacts to you can hurt, especially if you consider them a friend. So your best bet was not to say anything and get back to them when you were in a space to be a friend. You understand? The whole thing about being a person, a human being, is having grace. Respecting people the way you would like to be respected. You understand? So no, that I get moment, that. You, that moment we were in the group text and you you called us horses or whatever and you was the jockey you know i felt like uh well hold on i understand how you're feeling but at the same time it's how you present it no but no no, no then guess what no that's how y'all took it because a text message can be interpreted different ways so y'all took it negatively so repeat because, what you said oh, to I'm, us. I'm, I'm, I'm i'm gonna repeat it because we were talking about different <laughs> ideas for the show and you know again i was very open-minded to let too many people have an opinion on something that I was ultimately going to make the final decision on. So mm -hmm. when, 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 um, it was something with the background and I was like, oh yeah, I like the background, but I didn't say anything. I was like, I'd rather you had said something to me about it. So at that time in that message, it felt like it was so many things coming at me. And I was like, listen, at the end of the day, I'm going to make the decision on it. So in this moment, whether it's about, um, like a theme song or anything, listen, I hear everything you saying, but at the end of the day, I'm going to make the final decision. So me saying that um, I'm the whore, I'm, I'm the jockey, and you know, uh, no, no, but no, you I, didn't no, have to no, say no, that. no. Th this is what I said. I said this is a horse jockey relationship. The horse and the jockey both help each other get to that destination. So my thing saying. is, it should never be taken that personal because we was having a business discussion. So that's when the personal get too deep involved. So with the as business. a manager, as a boss, may, rather I say, you get back to us with your final decision hey i'm uh, gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna think of all, all your opinions and i'm gonna come up with the final de decision tomorrow we can all do tomorrow with the final decision and, but and you went in and said. you want to no, no 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 you threw them jabs i first. feel like that's oh, so, so so so, do you, so did, did you not did, exactly but did you not but it wasn't me just saying that it was everything coming at what i wasn't doing right but nobody was giving me credit for the things that i was doing right so to me it's a point of putting out just the negative but not being really responding boss, not to the positive credit, no baby. no no being a boss like be, being a boss is a certain type of respect that you may want to have so again even if i'd apologize for having that stuff people don't hear the apology because they too focused on how they felt in the moment and they're not focused on you know what if i did hurt you in that moment i'm sorry and i did apologize for it but it got to the point where even after i apologized it was still shots being thrown my way and it wasn't anything so um, what i would say anything. honestly if you want to be in the business you got to learn to not take things personal no but no but but that's what y'all had to do because i didn't take any of it personal when i said this is a horse jockey relationship that was literally a metaphor and that was literally uh, but, a saying, but, yeah, but do, saying do you think that, that you should have said that though i do in that moment i do think i should have said it because i was getting attacked in all four different ways so in that moment, but that's I do what feel happens. Like I bosses justify. get attacked all the exactly. time. They get bosses, letters all the time. Exactly. But they don't come back with and no. Bosses oh, also, you are my worker. You work for me. No, 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 no. A lot, a lot of bosses do say that. Papers. I or, feel like or papers I, I, this is, is a, a lot of bosses do say that. We are texting. Y'all take it. Really, take it away. It can be misconstrued. It can be. And I understand what she's saying too. It's not about what you say. It's about how you say it. 
but I, I I just feel like that's why texting is a little exactly and it can be taken and, either way. It can be taken out of context, and again, right. um, a text could be interpreted the way you want to interpret it. So it could have been on some oh, this is a horse jockey relationship, but it was more so taken as nah. Y'all the horses and I'm the jockey. That's what makes y'all me? friends because you bounce back from it, though. So we definitely can bounce from it, you know. And 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 I I respect that because with me, I'm someone that can always be apologetic and apologize for the things I did. But also, like you said, Dawn, humans give grace. People got to give me grace. If everybody point out the negative, the things that they don't like, but they, they didn't point out the things that they oh. did like, then to me that's a problem because if it was like you know what. Dude, you ain't doing this right, you ain't doing that right, you ain't doing this right. But I'm literally trying to get to the next level and, and help help us get there. But when everybody just um pointing the finger at you, then yes, you can feel attacked in that moment. And then that's so when so you gotta understand this you want respect. People ain't gonna respect you like that. People will respect you when you can handle yourself under pressure. People can oh, respect you when you don't when you got all these rocks being thrown at you and you still not phased by it, you still handle it with professionalism and grace. You understand? Okay. And no, also that, respect that's... because this is what you deserve. No, that's true. And so you can say, talk about this real quick. What Dawn's saying is definitely true. But Dawn, what if this, because I want to play devil's advocate. So what if this situation is like, you felt like you've been doing it the whole entire time, but then I got to a point where it's like, I can't take it no more. Then you say some shit like, then you snap. You know how like when people being bullied and they've been bullied yeah. for so long, they finally snap the fuck out. And it's just like, no, they point. Then you the don't. Then you don't need to have your own business because you can't handle no, it. That's not. If, that, if, but, if, if you want to be in this business, no, you gotta be a tough. No, person. you no, gotta listen. be able to handle them arrows being stabbed. But at I'm just hold on. But, but hold on. Okay. He's no. still. I, I'm just saying. I'm not taking no sides. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Speaking of life, he's still human. So some shit gonna happen sometimes. Grace gotta be given both ways. The same <laughs> so, way I gave y'all grace. Hello, Wayne. Hello, Wayne was like, y'all ain't fucking cheering for my fucking artist. Fuck y'all. He got off the stage recently. At the same time, it's like, all right, Wayne, you shouldn't have did that. But at the same time, it's like, all right, some people, right. it's like, some people fold. Like, I have folded under my pressure. I, under pressure. I might not say nothing slick shit, but at the same time, I have folded when, when pressure. It's like, I put, I take a lot of shit from people. Like, people really get over on me. People really play in my face a but lot. You don't I have guess a what? I mean, I'm but, not saying but, you don't have a business, but you're not running a business but where I you have to show professionalism. So no, but guess what? So if no, but, business, you're, 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 if you had a job, hold on, can I say this real quick? Listen, I listen. You're gonna, listen, with you. um, you're, gonna it, you're gonna expect professionalism. The, so I, I I expect professionalism, but I also more so um expect respect. So my whole thing is, and listen, I'm, I'm I'm making a point with this. The respect is a two way street. So if everybody disrespecting, not even coming up, say, you know what? Good job with that topic. Good job with that other topic. It was none of that in that text message at all. It was nothing but negative. Oh, I didn't like this. I didn't like that. Oh, this stupid. This is dumb. In that moment, as the person who's running that business, you got to know how to put your foot down, whether these people take it personal or not, because it's a business. So as a business, it's not always about your personal feelings. It's about how I think that this should run. But it was about your personal wrong. feelings no, because no. you felt personally attacked because no, we no. didn't pat you on the back. No, 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 no. Listen, Yo, I, I, I don't never. So I think yeah. I forgot my answer. No, <laughs> no, good. Let, 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 let me finish this real quick. It's not the fact that I took it personally. My whole thing is I stepped. I, I put. I took my personal hat off and I had to put my business hat on. Okay, that's a whole different Jameer right there. So right there, you're not going to always get the compassionate Jameer. You're not going to always get the person where even with times uh, with, with don't when 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 you couldn't make some episodes, I was always there calling, talking to you and everything, understanding what you were going through. I was compassionate, but as a business, I had to understand and realize that you know what the show must go on. So I cannot sit here and be taking everybody's personal feelings into consideration when I'm trying to run a business. So to say that, you know, it may not, I may not know how to run a business because I'm not take the pressure. No, I'm not take the pressure. And I might also give it back to you. It may not, may not be in the way you want to hear it, but I didn't get receive the, the constructive criticism that y'all should have gave me. It was more so criticism. It wasn't constructively. It was more so of you shouldn't be doing this, you shouldn't be doing that. Well, show me how to do it. Give me some suggestions. Just coming with something but no solution. To me, that's not really good with that, you know? And again, I respect everybody on that. And I even respect this conversation because I'm someone that grown from being emotionally attached to certain situations, especially if it's about a passion of mine. And I have to put that business hat on 
because even even then i took it a step further everybody was trying to tell me that the person that i'm learning from i was trying to bite their style no i literally am in somebody's media millionaire classes where they're teaching me how to run certain things and i'm learning from that very same courses so when people was telling me oh you just trying to be like this you trying to be like that person no i'm applying what i'm learning and i'm applying it to this thing and if you have to take it personal then that's on you but i cannot be worried about your personal feelings in that moment i had to worry about the shit and how i'm going to keep it moving so i respect everybody's opinion on that but i didn't have to listen to it that's more so what i'm saying but i love you Dawn, and this is why i love you because I we can have these, yeah because we can have these conversations i don't take anything you say personal because i i probably needed to hear that in that moment but i know for me personally i'm a little bit more at the point now where i'm a little bit straightforward now because i've been too lenient to people for so long that i feel like every time i got bit in the ass you know so viewers i want you to think we arguing but this is a real good conversation that we needed to have in there you know because that's what friends do you know right. and mm -hmm. even though you know it may have uh you know we, we, we probably um didn't continue on with this i'm happy that you were still able to come back for the, today's conversation because it let me know that you understand that i'm human as well you know absolutely absolutely I, I i did i wasn't mad you know at you and like oh i'm not gonna be his friend anymore i just didn't agree with what you wanted man. to continue no 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 not even I would I didn't agree with what how you wanted to continue the show because mm -hmm. that's that's the person that I'm trying to be in life is the person who respects all people rather if I know them or not so I didn't feel comfortable talking about people I didn't know you know so I felt like it was only right for me to dismember myself from the group mm -hmm. which is respecting We're that thing and didn't take none of it personal <laughs> exactly that's good but I do want to get back to this because I got this question. That, you know, it, it ties into everything. And I'm going to start with you first, Jason. Um, loyalty or respect? Um, can I ask you, what is more important to you when dealing with friendships? Do you want loyalty or do you prefer respect and why? I feel like it should be a combination of I want one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, that's a, that's a, a tough that's a tough uh choice to choose between because like loyalty you know you don't want a friend that's going to be talking about you behind your back or a friend that's a friend today and not tomorrow and then yeah. respect like who want to be friends with somebody that's disrespecting them like that's i'm gonna say that's this. A tough decision so i'm 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 gonna I'm say this i'm gonna pass it down to naya for me i would pick respect because people could be loyal to you for the wrong reasons. They could be loyal to you because you, you know, um, financially in a good place. They could be loyal to you because of who you may know. If you respect me, then with respect, loyalty is going to come. Because I feel like you don't, you don't respect someone that you don't have a certain amount of admiration for. Um, someone that you may not have a certain amount of love for. So for me personally, I'm going to pick respect over loyalty. Because loyalty, I've been loyal to a fault with certain people and i said this earlier because oh we were friends since kindergarten that's why i'm loyal to you because we were friends since kids no my thing is if the respect is gone then why am i still loyal to you so for me personally i'm picking respect because loyalty is conditional at times you know um but i'm gonna definitely go down to you naya um what's your take on it um loyalty and respect and i come back to you jason not the uh you know i just, just want to just throw this in there before i answer the whole time jameer was talking my was beside me like I agree with Jameer about how I am that type of friend too. Blah, 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 blah. She kept saying it the whole entire time. She kept saying, I, I agree with Jameer. I'm like, oh, I guess. There we go. Thank you. I just want to say, I just did want to say, like, I get that. I feel like you do care, but at the same time, I do feel like, I'm not going to say you're a bad friend. You're just a very interesting person. You're an interesting person. That's just it. Like, and sometimes I can be very interesting as well. Like, I'm not going to call you a bad friend. You just have different, everybody got different friend i'm not gonna say technique but different friend everybody different oh yeah everybody different and how they handle things yeah so exactly. when I'm, like, i think i'm gonna go for loyalty more than respect why because i need to know that like, when i leave if i leave my house you're here my husband you're not gonna fuck them i need to know when my kids are with you you want to treat them the same way you treat your kids i need to know that when you're not mad at me you ain't gonna spit on my drink i need to know if i'm down bad you're gonna give me some bread i need to know if I need you to support me, you're going to be there. You're going to be loyal. You're going to show up even when you feel like you're not going to be there. Respect is like, to me, I feel like respect. I do want you to respect me, but I'd rather you be loyal. Because when the cops come, you're going to I respect integrity. Cops, she's XYZ. I want you to be loyal. Yeah. You're going to be like, I don't even know you. 
I don't know how I even got in a picture with her. We must have been drunk that night. I took a random picture with her. X, Y, and Z, X, Y, and Z. I would prefer loyalty. I'm so loyal. And I also respect people. But if I had to choose, I'm going with loyalty. You pick loyalty? I think I'm going to uh, pick loyalty, too, matter. You pick sure. loyalty? Uh, I go with loyalty. Uh, so, um, Dawn, what about you? Loyalty or respect? Definitely respect. You have to oh, understand wow. that respect and loyalty are one and the same. You're going to respect me enough not to fuck my man. You're going to respect me enough not to spit in my drink. You're going to respect me enough to give me some money and know I'm going to pay you back. You understand? So you're going to respect me. Come on, loyalty. Regardless. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And again, that, that, that's what I'm talking about, Don. Respect. If you respect me, the loyalty follow that. You could be okay. loyal to me for the wrong <laughs> reasons. You could be loyal to me for the wrong reasons. Again, like Absolutely. I said, because we were friends since we was kids. Oh, I'm loyal to you because that's my homie's just kids. Or because of who I may know. I feel no, like they loyalty, can end, though. Not, they, they can are. be, but I feel like with respect, <laughs> with, with respect automatically come loyalty. But loyalty, respect possibly can come. Because of what you may be loyal to before. That's my personal opinion, you know. I definitely do think that um for I sure. Mean, like as a friend, I feel like as a friend though, if you're gonna be a real friend and you loyal to that person, then sometimes when you gotta tell that hard truth to them, it can come across as being disrespectful though. Like mm -hmm. when that friend needs to hear the truth opposed to you sugarcoating it and you know, telling them some bullshit just to no, you know, make if them it comes feel up disrespectful, then you're not my friend. You should know as a friend, I'm not going to ever come off disrespectful. Dis nah, disrespectful. Sometimes you, to, sometimes you just need to, you need to hear that. Sometimes yeah, you, you can hear the hard truth without feeling disrespectful it might come from across. your friend. That's you true. got to so, hear it from your friend and a stranger. That's true. So it takes us back to early, what you were saying a little bit earlier, Dawn, because I want to I wanna touch back into that because I didn't personally agree with it. You say that if you fall out with your friends, you're not really friends. Oh, yeah. Um, that was good I, I personally didn't agree with that because um, Jason may know, I ain't got to say his name, but me and this person fall out a lot of times, but no matter what, there's still a certain uh, respect there, a certain amount of loyalty yeah. there. There's and no nobody, respect there if y'all fell and out. We, nah, we fall out for different there. reasons because I think at that time um, we had a trauma bond. You like know, it. and certain times we got a trauma bond you bond over the trauma y'all both go through. And when one of you might get out of your trauma, the other person is still looking for that trauma bond. So falling out was necessary so we could come back together, you know? You had to ask him earlier in the show if he considered you as a friend. Now, if he was a friend, you wouldn't have to ask that because you already know. That's already solidified. No, I already I know he's a friend. I wanted to um I wanted to know and hear from him if if he considered me a friend and um if right I agree because with his because answer. why because you feel unsure if you mm. guys are really no friends. no no not unsure because I personally removed myself from the situation so how me and him was introduced to each other was through a mutual friend and they grew up with each other knew each other more so I had the mindset of you know what if I fall out with that person then I need to fall out with all of them. That's not fair because at the end of the day, he's my cousin too. And that wasn't fair to me to feel like I had to fall out with him because we met through his cousin. I didn't even consider it falling out though, man. I just considered you just taking time to gather to get, yourself. To and gather my thoughts and everything. And they see relationships differently than us. Their brotherhood, mm. I feel like men are more, I feel like men are more loyal to each other than girls are. I do. I, That's so I, feel, like, I feel like men are more solid than women because women like we get catty not all think. women but a, a big percentage i feel like women like it's so easy for women to fall out and then they really and niggas like man yeah i ain't fuck with that nigga. that's still my bro though if anything i'm still gonna slide for him but fuck him right now bitches really be like fuck her because she x y and z and x y and z some females like that and not a lot of women are like that but don't niggas use, like that too I mean, but it's rare, but I feel like men are more loyal to their men friends than women are loyal to, to their friends. real men friends. Absolutely. Yeah, I feel like I honestly do. But I was gonna say something about Dawn. Dawn said if you have to fall, two things. One, let me acknowledge the fact that she said you had to ask him. But Dawn, it could have been a situation where Jameer looked at him as a friend, and before I call you a friend, and even if I still feel that way, Jason may not look at me as a friend the way I may look at him. Let me just see how he feel our relationship is. Let me that don't yes, mean yes. because sometimes. I was calling my best friend. I'm so, I'm like so in love with her. Oh my God. I'm in love with all my friends, but oh my God, Shamar. I was two at a point and then it, there was one. Well, listen, I, I, they, these been my, that's my squad. We do have fallen out. We're going to talk about that. But <laughs> my friend Shamara, like all my friends, I love my friends dearly, but like she don't fall out with me. Like she don't like, she's so understanding. Like she's so like, 
And then that's like, your friend, baby. That's your only time, friend. But no, but at the same time, there's some shit we just don't fucking agree with. It's like all right, all right. but it's not like and that's she's okay. Like, and and that, and that's just okay. Like she's not. I don't gotta worry about her talking about me behind my back, talking to me about her people, to her family, her friends, with X, Y, and Z. Like I'm so like this. My it's my friend. Like when I'm with her, it's like come on, because up. yeah, that's how we is. I'm gonna hold her. I, it's like I'm just so like. I'm not but. Mm -hmm. All right, so get so get to the next part about um dawn point. No, but what I'm basically saying is there are some friends that you just basically she said that you could fall out with some friends that mean that's not your friends. I I I bump heads with a lot of friends, but I don't mean they're not my friends, Dawn. Because Dawn said that earlier, that don't mean they're your friends. But like then I had Ashley, then I had this person, I had that person. It was like we fall, we we made bump heads or whatever, but they still my fucking best friends. But but Dawn is saying that you can have friends that you have, and if you fall out, that mean they're not your friends. That mean I, they don't mean that. It depends on what the fallout is. Like you fuck my my nigga, then yeah, you wasn't my friend. But don't what it, what can happen that makes the per person really not your friend? Because a person fuck a, your, your man, okay. But somebody y'all argue because you have a disagreement. That don't not mean that's not your friend, Don. Yeah. It does mean that's not your friend. So why do you think that, Don? Oh, because your friend ain't gonna fall out with you. So you don't think, argue with you. so let's use the word space because I say fallout space. I need some space right now. I need to figure me out. That's fine. In, requiring space and fallout because I do feel like space and fallout can. I'd rather you give me, I'd rather us have space than us have a fallout. You feel me? Because you're my friend. I you're not going to say, you're not going to say stuff that you gonna have to take back later. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, but a that, fallout don't always have to be like more so of a negative thing. It can really be y'all not seeing eye to eye right now. Yeah, and you yeah, know right. what? But, hey, yeah. but, man, no. why do, I agree with Dawn with this though. I'm not saying they're not my friends, but Dawn, why is it just because we don't agree on something, not me and you, but friends, why do we have to take space and go grow apart? Like, why do we have, why, why we can't have a little quick argument? And then I'm like, keep passing my juice around. Oh, here, best friend, are you act regular. People That's a conversation. Oh, That's a debate. Are, you know yeah. what I'm saying? We can debate, that's, but now we debate don't. and argument are two different things. That's perspective. We're arguing. Now. That's a that's a fallout. That's now that's we're debating. That's the conversation. Yeah, and that's good. So what what, what you about to say? Brother, we we I said I feel like that's a perspective thing because so me don't and my, you never, oh, go ahead. hold on hold on nah, go ahead. No, finish real quick. No, I was gonna say. I mean, that's a perspective thing, though. I mean, it's just how it depends on how you look at that. That's all. Because me and my brothers who I call my friends and they're my best friends. We argue and like, matter of fact, we even got in, yeah, but we even got into, well, not fist fights, but like fights and whatnot. But at the end of the day, we bounce back. Like we don't stop talking to each other for months or whatnot, you know, but like, I feel like that's what really make you a real friend. Like if you can, you know, have a disagreement with that person and, and y'all bond is that strong that you can bounce back from that disagreement. Like, that's a real friend. That's I do like think that. Because I, I fought my best friends before. We've gotten to multiple fights, but we were able but we're to guys, come back around so that. It's yeah. different, like and, yep, said. Yep, and, and, and it may be different, cause but we were still able to come back from that because it may be like no point of no return, you know? So I definitely do think that a fallout could sometimes be necessary. I don't have to always be around you because, again, y'all could have bonded over the wrong things. If you have a trauma bond friendship and one of y'all is actively working towards your healing, then y'all are going to lose that bond because y'all were both bonding through trauma. So sometimes you had to fall out with somebody so they can get their healing. Then y'all can come back around and y'all can have a revived new friendship that y'all can learn from the first reason why y'all fell out. You know, I That's feel like crazy. sometimes fallouts are necessary because it can bring y'all back to a more necessary place, if that and makes any like sense. It's like a test. It's like a test, because if you do fall out with that person, if y'all real friends... It's God showing you this is not so friend. And, 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 and that could be uh, and that could be valid, true. Uh, that could be valid, too. God could be showing you that, and again, that took me back to somebody wanting to learn the same lesson over and over and over again. And <laughs> wrong, like you literally said, you wasn't there for one of your friends, and now they feel like wasn't there for them now y'all fell out so do you feel as though that because you wasn't there for her in that moment she in in that essentially in that moment had the right to fall out with you because she may have she may have felt like she was always emotionally there for you but you wasn't emotionally there for her so to me i feel like the same way that you may say that you may all have to also realize that you may have given all those same type of vibes to other people um that you may have fell out with and you have to give them grace and give yourself grace as well because I don't think that also that, that necessarily means you're a bad friend. Just maybe right now 
y'all don't need to be in front of each other right now. So a fallout is necessary. Can I say something? Mm -hmm. I don't know, uh, Jameer, I know, I don't, I forgot what you say your religion is or if you believe in anything, but I know Dawn did say she believed in God, Jesus, and all that. I don't know, Jason, what you believe or whatever. But speaking for me and Dawn, um, I'm just going to say, like, for us, we're really not supposed to get offended anyway. Like, in our in the Bible, we're not, when people do things to us, like, as in friends or whoever it's supposed to be, we're not supposed to get, um, we're not supposed to get offended about what people are supposed to, like, all right, whatever, and then forgive. We're supposed to instantly forgive. As soon as the events happen, we're supposed to forgive. I'm no, I'm one of those people, but I do, I do want Dawn, Dawn. You know that no one's perfect, so you're going to have, you're going to have disagreements with your friends, but that don't mean we're supposed to talk about each other behind our backs. Because yeah. I have done that before, and I have friends who've done that uh, to me before. That's when I was younger and I was immature. But now, no, I just like, all right, it is what it is. We're just not talking. Why are you not talking? I don't know. We just had a little falling out. That's not your business why we're not talking. You understand? And mm -hmm. then, like, you're going to have some disagreements. But that don't mean... But, like, like Maya just said to me when I had... Uh, she just said to me, if you're disrespecting each other and about to fight each other, all right, no, that's not supposed to happen. Because there's friends... I know best friends who fuck this fault. Friends who fought. Like, we just had to. We just need to get off our chest now. I, you should never even think about putting your hands on me. But we should argue. But it never should get to that point. Like, you should have that level of loyalty and respect. Then it's like, all right, that's just too much. You understand what I'm saying? Um, I never had to fight my friends, but I felt like, yeah, y'all doing too much. You know what I'm well, saying? Like Another thing, I feel like my friends, they all go in different category categories. Like, like I got friends for different things. And my favorite friends is my friends I can get spiritual with. So that's why I said Shamar, but Ashley, JoJo, some of the people not on there, Latira. I'm not saying that my other friends that y'all seen on the thing can't, but like those people are here. If I want to, my favorite friends is I can talk about regular shit and I can also talk about God. Like that's my favorite. That's how I know like you my friend. If I can come to you and we can get spiritual, you my dog. I heard that. All right. So um, I I I don't I don't connect with friends spiritually or by religion or anything. It's more so of a vibe, uh, yeah. you know, connection or whatever. And I can say this: if I fall out with a friend who's like really my friend. We even fight. The next person can't come to me and talk about that friend, regardless of anything. If we go through a temporary fallout, nobody can come to me and talk about that person because there's still a certain amount of respect there for that person. A certain amount of respect that comes with that loyalty that I'm going to always have for that person, regardless of, of how close we are. And I realized that I don't have to be around you every single day to consider you a real friend or to consider you um, someone that I respect or whatever. I don't have to be around you every single day. But the luck is still be there. And sometimes I may need that space for myself just so that I can get my shit together and we can come back together and be good and everything, you know? But um, I do want to um, ask, I got two more questions that we're going to wrap this up and everything. Because, you know, I, I, li I like how real this guy, I love it, Dawn. That's what we need, you, you know, I like how real this guy, but I definitely do. Um, I, I, I did ask a question, but I forgot it. So we're going to go to the next one. <laughs> um, And this is along the lines of this, and I want everybody to be very honest. Next that, bro. Oh wow! <laughs> You're back. What happened? <laughs> you, HD. You're on there twice <laughs> now. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, oh, oh, uh, green. I want this one. Oh, 